Hello friends, today I am going to talk about closures in C-Sharp. Closures is an important topic and available in almost all programming languages nowadays. That's why I thought why not I consider this topic for my viewers so that they could understand its behavior. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Closures in C-Sharp. Okay, first of all, we understand what closures in C-Sharp are. So, closures in C-Sharp are nothing but a technique that allows a method to reference a non-local variable. So, C-Sharp anonymous methods and lambda expressions support closure. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of examples on over here. So, here there is a class named closure in C-Sharp demo that has my outer method, which is an action delegate method. Inside this method, we have int variable int outer variable where I have assigned five values to it. In next statement, I wrote another action delegate method my inner method that contains local variable int inner variable and I have assigned value one to it. And then what I am doing, I have just incremented int outer variable by 10. And after that, I am adding these two variables int outer variable and int inner variable and printing the value to the console window. And finally, I am returning this my inner method to the caller. Now, there is another class named program that has main method, which is an entry point of this application where I am creating an instance of this closure in C sharp demo. And that's what I have written closure in C sharp demo OBJ is equal to new closure in C sharp demo. And with the help of instance, I'm calling this my outer method that is returning me my inner method. And then finally, I'm just calling my inner method two times. And each time it prints the value of sum of int outer variable plus int inner variable, right? And if you see this output, the first time it is just printing 16. The second time it is just going to print 26. How come? It happened due to closure technique. This closure allows us to access non-local variable in the context. Thus, we are able to access this int outer variable, right? Int outer variable over here. And we are able to increment it by 10. That's what we are going to get the value of int outer variable plus int inter variable in console window. And that's what we got the 16 and 26 value. So that's the beauty of the closure. Let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. Here we are on Visual Studio. Here we are going to see the demo of the C-Sharp closure. So for this, what I have done, I have created one console application closure in C-Sharp demo that has program.cs file. Here there is a class named closure in C-Sharp demo that has my outer method, which is an action delegate method. Here this method, what I am doing, I have just created one variable, int outer variable of int data type and I have assigned five value to it. That's what I have written int int outer variable is equal to 5. And then in the next statement, I have written another action delegate my inner method. And inside that we have this local variable int inner variable of int data type and I have assigned value 1 to it. And then what I am doing, I am just incrementing this variable by 10. And that's what I have written int outer variable plus equal to 10. Just adding this two variable value int outer variable plus int inner variable and printing this result to the console window. And finally, I'm just returning this action delegate minor to the caller. Now there is a class named program that has main method, which is an entry point of this application. Here I have just written this statement that I'm giving the demo of the C sub closure. And that's what I have written console dot write line C sub closure demo. And then what I'm doing, I'm just creating an instance of this closure in C sharp demo. That's what I have written closer in C sharp demo OBJ is equal to new closer in C sharp demo. Then I'm just calling this my outer method with the help of instance of this closer in C sharp demo. Then it is just returning me this my inner method that I'm storing into this action delegate variable my inner. Method. Finally, I'm just invoking this method my inner method. So this method is just going to call this my inner method. Okay, so it is just going to print int outer variable for int variable. But if you notice this my inner method, we have returned it. So this portion is just going to get returned, right? So here we are able to access of this int outer variable, which is the non-local variable for this my inner method. And though we are able to access it, how it is possible? It is possible with the help of closures only. Okay, let me debug this and let me show you how it works. Okay. So I have put this breakpoint over here and let's see how it works. 
let me go and execute this okay now as, as i said that this is the entry point of this application so control came over here now let me go and click this step over f10 so this statement is just going to get printed this statement is just going to print it now i have created an instance of this closer in c sharp demo object instance was created and i have stored in this variable obj then i'm just calling this obj my outer method okay so i'm just going to click this step into so this method is just going to get invoked so control came over here right now let me go and put now if you see this int outer variable pi value assigned to it okay now it is just going to return this my inner method this method is just going to get returned so this my inner method i got it now i'm just invoking this method my inner method so it is just going to go into this my inner method variable right so now if you see i got this variable int inner variable is equal to 1 but you see this int outer variable currently value we are getting as a 5 but directly it came over here so it is able to access this int outer variable which is the non-local variable for this my inner method we are able to get the value now i am just going to increment by 10 so now if you see this value it it is value is int outer variable is equal to 15 so now int outer variable is having 15 int inner variable is a 1 so this statement is just going to print as a 16 value to it okay so this statement is just going to print that if you see this 16 got printed right now let me go and execute the second time okay now just let me go into a step into go you see this int variable because this is the local variable and we got the value as a 1 now if you see this int outer variable currently we are having 15 so it is having previously set value right so 15 and now it is just going to increment by 10 so 15 plus 10 is equal to 25 so now this variable is going to have value as a 25 so 25 plus 1 is equal to 26 it is just going to get printed go and execute this now if you see this got printed 16 and 26 so now that brings me to end of my session to sum up in this video we learned what closures are in c sharp and how and when to use in a program that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video